Hello and welcome back to learnabouteyes.com. In this video, I'm teaching you how to place a corneal suture. This sounds super simple, but I see a lot of residents and fellows struggle with this. So hopefully I'll have some useful tips for you. Let's go. YouTube has flagged my last two surgical videos as violent content. So today I'm using a plastic eye and my microscope at home to show you this technique. Step one, use the correct needle and suture. You want a 10 nylon suture with a spatula needle. Do not use a round tip needle. It'll be much harder to get through the cornea. If you don't know about the different needle and suture types, either read about it or subscribe to this channel and wait for my video to be released. Step two, grab the needle in the distal one third and make sure it's angled 90 degrees to your needle driver. Step three, puncture the cornea. Make sure you're pointing the needle down towards the optic nerve. Don't hold the needle parallel like this. Why? You want to go through the anterior and posterior lip of the wound. You don't want to stay superficial. Step four, follow the curvature of the needle to puncture the cornea, sclera, and conjunctiva. Do not use any force other than rotating the needle around its axis. Otherwise, you might bend the needle or put too much pressure on the tissue. Step five, grab the needle behind the tip. Just in case you need it again, you don't want the tip to get blunt. When pulling it out, also pull with a rotation movement. Don't pull it out tangentially. Step six, pull the suture through the wound and make sure you don't lose the short end. To better visualize it, I always put it on the cornea so it's in the same focal plane as the rest. Step seven, do three throws around the needle driver and grab the short end and pull it through. Notice that the knot loosens if you leave it like this. That's why you need to cinch it. This makes it keep the tension. You can always loosen it again if needed. Here's how to cinch it. First, pull both ends in the opposite direction. Then keep tension on both ends while you move the short end over to the long end. Let me show you this with a piece of string. Imagine this is your triple throw. Tighten it down. And then to cinch it, you want to keep tension on both ends and bring one of them over to the other side while keeping the tension on and pulling it over in an arch. Let's do it again. Tension on both ends. One goes over to the other side while keeping the tension on. After this demonstration, let's look at the microscope video again. You keep tension on both ends, pull one side over and it stays. In surgery, I usually use this moment to fill the eye with BSS and check if the wound is still leaking or if it's too tight and causing astigmatism. After that, I lock the knot. To lock the knot, you do one throw in the opposite direction and tighten it. Very important, do not move the knot until you've tightened it. Otherwise, it will loosen again. Step nine, cut the ends off with a Vanna scissor. Not too short so it doesn't slip, but also not too long. Step 10, bury the knot in the cornea to prevent foreign body sensation and infections. For that, grab it with the tying forceps parallel to the suture like this and push it forward. Make sure the only force that you're applying is pushing it in the direction you want it to go. Do not pull the suture up or sideways. Only grab it parallel and push. And that's it, you're done. If you want to know how to remove the suture later on at the slit lamp, I will link a video somewhere here as soon as I've uploaded it. It will be the next video coming out. So definitely subscribe to the channel to not miss this or any other videos coming up in the future. Please share this video with your colleagues, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next one.